Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. Today's poster wants to know how to make a collage um, out of a shape. Uh, for in this instance, we're going to start with a heart shape. So what you want to do is, is find a heart on the internet somewhere. And now as a background, you don't need necessarily a background, but I just went ahead and found another internet uh, picture of this nice sunset and I thought that would be a good background for the collage. That's just in case I don't fill it up completely with photos. Um, I have something in the background to see that's nice. <clears throat> so in this case I'm going to start with this heart and what I want to do is cut out the center so I can place pictures in the center. So I'm going to simply click on the layer of the heart and this will be really simple. Grab the magic tool and I'm going to leave this tolerance at 50% because this is um, hard edge white on black, so it's, it'll catch it perfectly. I'm going to click in the middle, hit delete, and there you go. Now you see the heart picture uh, uh, template in the foreground with the background image of the sunset. So that's pretty simple how to get that. All you have to do is fill it up with photos now, and you can place the photos. You really got to be a little artistic and find photos that have edges or placements that will fill out the heart. And I'm going to show you the photos that I found on the internet, uh, like these uh, eight or nine photos. And I just kind of lightly placed them in different places just to make this video tutorial shorter. So I will show you the first picture. And actually, I'll bring in the, the, um, the template. And I'm going to lessen the uh, opacity so you can see the photo the full photo before I cut it out later. And this, I placed the first one here because she's looking into the photo from the outside in. You never want to have it the other way around where she's looking outside because you want your subjects to always be looking into the photo if they're looking to one side. The next photo, um, and I didn't, this is in no particular order. Um, I found a pair of hands that was a PNG image. So, and, and they were doing a little heart symbol. So I just kind of placed it right here in the middle of the heart. Thought it looked kind of cute. Um, next photo we're going to find was this one down here, a girl that was uh, on a swing. And it reminded me the bottom of a heart shape. So you want to find photos that, that'll fit nice little areas. Now these photos aren't cut out yet, which we'll do a little bit later right now. We're just first placing them. And the next photo comes up, and that was the two little kids eating ice cream. The next photo was a nice photo of the family on the beach. And I placed it down here near this sunset so that it would kind of look like it was part of it. And I'll probably cut this edge out right here of that photo. Uh, the next one is going to be um, this one here. Where I just placed them in places that looked kind of neat in the heart. Uh, the next photo is going to be um, a family they were in this shape that looked really good along the edge of the heart. It looked like they were forming the same curves as the heart. And I could put them up close to the edge, but I don't want them too close to the edge. I'll bring them in a little bit like this. Uh, the next photo I found was a guy with his child, but the child's being cut off by this photo. And it's okay because we'll cut this part of the, of the beach out later. And finally, I found one more of some kids that looked like they would form the top end of the heart. You don't have to have these photos form the shape of the heart. It's not really that important. It, you can build it whatever you want. Now let's play around with the actual um, photos and cut the parts that are covering other photos. But before I do that, I'm going to take my heart shape and bring the opacity back up. And you notice you'll, you'll see the pictures disappear in the background. And it's almost done now. Uh, now I want to grab the photos, but I'm going to keep on by mistake grabbing this background. So I'm going to go back to this top layer and lock it with this lock, uh, lock key right here, the button. That's so that I don't by mistake grab the background and move it because I want it in a particular place. This one's covering the kids here, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to grab um, an eraser. I will grab a soft eraser and we'll do the size of the brush, like a 25, so it's kind of soft. It doesn't really matter. I just want to something like this and just cut around like that. And that allows these kids to be shown here. Then I'll grab the uh, polygon tool and then cut that section out. Now this cut here could be a hard cut. doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. It's, it's artistic interpretation. Like right here, I'm going to do the same thing and make it sort of the shape of a heart. I'll go like this. 
and then I'll go up, boom, like that. Grab the polygon tool. And I could have used the magic tool and cut this whole blue section out, but I wanted to leave it in just so that there's other things in, interesting in the shot. Um, I'd say this one here, this photo here, let's do a bigger brush, like a 50 point. So it's nice and big. And we're going to cut along her like that. And now I take the polygon tool and cut out the extra stuff that we don't want. And boom. So you see she kind of melds from this picture to that picture. Um, I can't kind of actually like that. I'm going to do that for this one too. And then come back up like that. And and then just get rid of that. Next, uh, this photo up here, um, it's pretty much okay. We could soften the edge of it. Grab an eraser. I'm going to do a huge eraser of a 250. And it's going to really meld into the background from here like this. See that? That makes it really super nice. And now let's go to the next photo. We're working our way from the top to bottom. Uh, maybe this one on this edge here. Grab the eraser. And let's go back to 150. And do this. To soften the two pictures. And there we go. And let's move down to this one here. So first we have to, and I have these hands here, so we're going to leave the hands. Maybe we'll take the hands and soften the edges like this. So they meld into the photos. See, that looks better. So you kind of don't know where the hands come from, which is kind of cool. And then let's grab this photo. And with the 150 eraser, I'm going to soften this whole edge and come down like this. And that allows us to see part of the beach. I like that. Uh, we can soft the edge, edge up here and then the right side like that. Uh, next down here, actually we can go back to this one. Grab the eraser and soften this one. Let's pan down a little bit here and soften this one like that. Gives us a nice, nice bottom edge. Let's go back to this one, the family. And I want to get rid of this up here, but I don't want it to go below the fingers. So I'm going to make this a small brush, like a 50 point. So I can do this a little more precise right here. Just erase that part, which reminds me, I wanted to see the sun through um, this section. So I'm going to pick the guy and the girl picture and erase everything inside between the fingers, showing nothing but the sun in between. And there we go. Nice sunset in between the two. Um, finally, we grab this family picture and do a big, thick brush again, 150 point. And now we can do this to see the child. See that? See how nice that is? I can kind of just do this and then come over here, do the same thing. Uh, now, let's see what we got with this photo here. Well, first let's fix the bottom piece here and soften that so it melds, they all meld into each other. See that? How nice that looks. We can grab this one here and soften it. You could do hard lines if you want. Um, I just prefer the softer lines like this. It looks more collage -y, if I can say. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. Maybe we'll soften the bottom of this one a little bit. I'm going to do a 250 point, make it nice and soft, and then grab this photo and do the same thing with the bottom edge. And finally, on the top of this one, bring it down to 150, because this head is really close to the top. I don't want to get rid of this, the heads here too much. Anyway, so you got yourself a nice uh, collage here. That's all there is to it. It's really simple to do. Um, and once we have all the photos where we like them, we'll soften this up. All you got to do now is uh, is save this um, as a JPEG. So I'm going to, and there you have it. You have a collage inside of a heart. And uh, this is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.